Hello everyone, it's Melanie here with Vintage Hill Studio. You know I love my books and I love creating unique bookmarks. So I'm going to try these glass stickers today and create, I'm attempting to create a see-through bookmark. And I will be using this Scotch Laminator and also these 5x7 Thermal Pack Pockets. They will run through the laminator and the heat sets it and seals all the edges. So let's get started with this little project, see how this turns out. So I have used the Scotch Laminator for other bookmarks before. You can see that it has this little plate here and I'll get this plugged in very quickly and then I will show you, you just hit this button. It has a three millimeter and a five millimeter option. I have it on the three millimeter. And while that's warming up, I wanted to show you what to do if you don't have every stamp you ever needed. I print some sentiments on my, using my PCN and my printer, my home printer, and just different fonts to make it interesting. And there you can have unique sentiments for your projects. So I die cut this one. If you have a paper punch, that would work as well. Now to get this to kind of blend in with the other elements from those glass stickers, I'm going to take a finger dauber and a little bit of gray ink and just quickly go around the edges here. And then I'll come back towards the center and just add a little more ink and kind of give this a little depth and dimension just by adding the gray ink. Now I didn't want to go all over the front of the sentiment. I want to leave it a little light in the center and that gives it a little more interest. Of course, you do have a little bit of a glare when you use these laminating pockets, but that's okay. Now, as a reminder, I am doing a two-sided see-through bookmark, so I want to be sure that I apply that same um, ink on the back side of this die-cut element. That will just tie everything in together. And then I'm bringing over this little piece of paper because it kind of reminds me of water. So I want my flamingo to be standing in some water and it needs to be two-sided. To, so to help me with this, I just folded this over on itself. The white is facing in and the blue is facing out on each side. And then I'm going to trim along these little um, areas here at the top to create a water element. And by doing this, by folding it over on itself, they're going to match up perfectly. So when you look at it from either side, you don't have any white edges showing. I hope that makes sense. That's what I was attempting to do here. Okay, and now I have measured my sentiment. It's right, it's a little over the two and a quarter mark, so I'm gonna make sure my water is cut the same. And that's going to guide the width of my bookmark for this week. And you can see this little flamingo is under two inches, so she's going to be perfect for my bookmark. I will pull these out. I think I will use that jar for another project. It's pretty cute in the packaging, right? So here is this grid mat again, one of my most favorite tools. You see me working on this every week. This is why it's so versatile. So I am going to line up the bottom and the left hand edge with the straight lines. And that's going to help me place my uh, elements in the bookmark itself. So I'm using these lines, the horizontal and the vertical lines to help me place all the elements. And I'm trying to leave a little bit of a border at the bottom and plenty on each side and at the top because when you run this through your laminator, it is going to seal with heat all those elements in the middle here of your pocket. And you want to have that edge so that when you trim this down, it keeps the seal. You don't want to break the seal once it's gone through the laminator. So I'll show you how that works in just a second. Okay, and then I try to be a little strategic with placing my sticker in here because it's going to help anchor that sentiment just by sticking to it a little bit because you don't want this to float around when you put it through your laminator. You want it to kind of be stuck, but you can't glue anything because the glue will show from either side since this is a see-through bookmark. So use your stickers to your advantage. Help anchor that sentiment. And it also adds a lot of fun detail. So use as many or as little as you want, but try to be strategic about it and help hold some of your paper elements with your stickers. 
Okay, when that little blue light comes on, you know that your laminator is ready. So very carefully, now I am holding this little water feature at the bottom because just the leg of the stickler wasn't enough to hold it. So I'm trying to hold it as straight as possible without pulling on the paper. I'm letting the laminator pull it through from left to right on its own. And hopefully that water will come out straight along the bottom. Again, it was not glued and there wasn't an, a sticker to hold it in place, but that came out just right. So the next thing I need to do is cut these edges and I brought over my Caterpillar Pro. I love this self-sharpening paper trimmer. You can see it has a little light bar right there. Even though I can see through my bookmark, it really helps like illuminate the edges of the paper of that little water feature down there. So I'm just taking a little off the top and the bottom. I try to make my bookmarks roughly two by six. This was a little wider just because my sentiment was a little over two and a quarter, but it's still roughly the two by six bookmark size. Okay, the next thing I need to do is mark the center top of my bookmark, the top center. I'm gonna take a little Sharpie, just give myself a little mark there, again using my grid mat to help me center this up, and then I'll bring over my little punch and punch a hole in the top. This is where my ribbon will go. So just to make sure I haven't broken the seal by doing the punch or the trimming of the edges, I'm gonna run that through my laminator one more time. Now most of the elements are already heat set, but this doesn't hurt anything to run it through again. Again, let it come out on its own. Don't push or pull on it. And there you go. So because this is two-sided, it is fairly sturdy for a bookmark. And I love that you can see through it. It is so adorable. And I wasn't sure about those stickers. Now, it's not as vibrant on the back as it is on the front, but you can certainly see through when you flip it over. You can tell that's a flamingo and you've got those flowers. And, of course, our water feature. And that finishes the project for today. Now, if you hang in there with me for a little bit longer, I'm going to show you a second bookmark I made using seashells. And again, the seashells were also glass stickers. Now, all the stickers this week were from, let's see, Crafter Square, which I found at Dollar Tree. I just thought they were adorable, and I love using them for these see-through bookmarks. I think it's a nice twist on a regular bookmark. I hope you enjoyed this video today and that you'll come back and see me again next week. Feel free to subscribe, leave me comments, let me know if you give this project a try yourself. Here's that seashell bookmark that I was telling you about. I used a little sand for the paper at the bottom and a little ribbon or a string inside and it sealed just perfectly with the laminator. Again, thanks so much for dropping by. I hope you have a wonderful day and happy crafting everyone.